Hello, Mr. Ari, are you right today? Yeah. So today we talk about the longest substring with two distinct characters. Longest substring with two distinct distinct characters. What's distinct? A, B, C, C. That doesn't exist anymore. Distinct. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, kind of distinct characters means that unique, yeah, unique characters. So the longest substring. What's the substring? Um. A, B, C. How many substring? Um, six. Oh, quick! That was quick. A, B, C for one, one ca uh, character substring. A, B, B, C, and A, B, C. Yeah. So that's five. Oh, six. Okay, continue. So how the longest substring, right? We can find this is the longest substring with two distinct characters because it has B and C only two. In this here, it will be only B and C only two, right? We can't choose this one because look, A B C C how many? How many? Three. Yeah, A B and C. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, so that's the question. So any idea how we're doing this? If the whole thing is only two unique, then you do all of it. Uh. So you get it. What do you mean? Uh. So again, here A B C C D. Yeah. So how we do it? Next? First of all, we can you know brute force, yeah, brute force. Mm. We can if we brute force the all the substring. How uh, what's the time complexity to brute force all the substring? Remember, every time we prove for the substring in a string, we need a uh, O. What? Um. Sorry? We need to substring the left and the right. Right? We need to prove for the left and the right. Right? Mm. Left index and the right index. So, what is it? How, how, how much complexity it takes? Look, if I, I, I will be range from 0 to n. Right? 0 to n. 0 to n, yeah, inclusive. And then j will be from what? From i to n, right? What's the time complexity? I mean, look, if I use the loop to iterate from 0 to n minus 1, and I have a second loop which iterates from i to n, what's the time complexity? I have a loop, I have a loop. Ln square. Where down, ln square. Let's square down. So, if we iterate, proof of all the substring, we need the ON square. And then to check, to check if there are more than two, if there are two, yeah, if at most, yeah, is uh, uh, how many distinct characters in this thing with two, uh, in, in this uh, substring, how, how many how many characters, distinct characters in this substring, we, it means the O n time variable as well, right? It means another O n time. So all time complexity is what? O n times 2, and then we need uh, times 10. That will be O n cubed, right? Yeah? Got it? Yeah? Got it? So we, we can do better, yeah? How can we do better? How can we do better? How can we do better? Do, do, uh, can we use the sliding window thingy so for example we have a window and then if we uh so we have a window like you know the window a b c c d so at, at, at the beginning the window is a okay so currently we have a, uh we only have one distinct character so we move on we add the expand the window a b right yeah now two there are two which is okay now it's two so no, now I add another. If we if we satisfy the requirement, I keep adding. And now look, this is the left. This is the right. So now what happened? If this does not satisfy, right? So the left needs to be. I I move the left. Yeah. Huh? Right? Okay. So it's satisfied. That's okay. And then I if we satisfy, if we satisfy, I keep adding to the right hand side. Now it's okay. Yeah. BCC is all right. and at the meantime, up, like, updating the answer, okay? And then look, if I adding, uh, so the next is adding the B, yeah? got it? And then now this, this is the maximum substring we have got with two. Because the, the question is asking about the two distinct characters, yeah? If it's two distinct characters. 
Okay. So what kind of the data structure we can use to keep tracking the distinct characters in the window? What kind of data structure we can use to keep tracking the distinct uh, to, to keep tracking the distinct uh, characters in the window? You know, if we want to keep counting, so we can use what kind of data structure, Eric? Right? Um, counter. Counter, where well notebook, okay. So we can use the notebook. Okay, let, let's do it, okay, quickly. So, n equals length, guys. So, l r equals zero, zero, okay? At the beginning, it equals that. And look, the sliding window thing, it has this, this kind of uh, format. It would be something like wire, why the right pointer, yeah? Why the right pointer should be smaller than what? Come on, should be smaller than what? Why the R is not reaching the end, yeah? So what should we put here? And N, well done, okay. Now, we, we, the R is the, we are in the position R, right? A, A, B, C, C, B, here. We are L here, R here. So now we need to add this R, right? To the window, okay? So let, let's put a window. Window here equals default dictionary, all right? Default dictionary, yeah, int. Yeah, you're saying default dictionary dot com, okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. Y R smaller than N, and what? Well, I keep adding it, I keep adding it. Then what? What's the window? Win, win, S, R, plus equals one, right? Look, all right, look, look at this. Mm -hmm. S R is the character A, and I put it in a win, a plus equals one, right? And then now I need to check the window. If wire, if look, if what? If L smaller equals R, N, and then length of the window's key, yeah? Because the window's key is the, is the number of in, uh, characters in it, right? And I should, I should do it what? Bigger than, if this is bigger than two, right? If this is bigger than two, what does it mean? If, it, if it's bigger than two, it means that uh, uh, it means what? It means that the, there are more than two uh, distinct characters in the window, right? Then we need to do what? We need to delete. We need to remove it, yeah? So win, win what? The left. S left. Minus equal one, right? And if we reduce to zero, we need to delete the key, right? If, we, if what? Win, S L, Equal equal zero. We delete the key. Yeah? We delete the key. Win. S L. Okay. Okay. And then now I have to L plus equal one. Right. I keep moving the left. If we keep breaking the law, right, Eric. If keep break breaking, then I I I, I keep adding the law. Okay. Now at this at this point, now we are satisfied here. So now we need to put the answer. Let's answer. Okay. Answer. Equals zero. Answer equals maximum of answer, which is R minus L plus one, right? This is the length of the maximum uh, substring, right? Substring. And then at the, uh, here we need to do what? We need to move the right, right? We need to move the right plus equal one. Right? And then return what? Return what? Return answer. What's the time complexity for this one? Come on, look at the code. Look at the code. What's the time complexity? Uh, and. Oh, and well done. Okay. What's the space complexity? Uh, oh, what? And. Oh, and yeah, we are using the dictionary. Okay. So look, look at this code. I'm going to use another example like uh, uh, A A C E R I R R Y. C, D, okay, so look. Are you just trying to make up a name? Yeah, I try to make up a name, okay? It's so look, kind of long. answer equals zero, L equals zero, R equals zero, and then a dictionary, okay? This, this win equals nothing, okay? Now, uh, that's a key, okay? So, I'm here, right? L, R is here, yeah? Right? Yeah. R is smaller than N, N equals what? N equals here, right? It's smaller than N. Then win R, so it will be A with plus equal Y, right? That's what it means. This one will put an A plus equal Y. 
Okay, so now it doesn't get into the loop because the windows key, the, the lens wind key only one, right? So it doesn't do it. Okay, now air is here, R is here, right? Yeah? I, I execute this one, so what happened to, to this wind? This will turn into uh, because there's a a is one, and now I have another a. Okay. Two. Okay. So now the lens key is also one because lens keys is how many keys here? There will be only one, right? So it keep to moving. Ah, ah, will keep moving. Yeah. Yeah. Answer will keep up at updating. Answer now will be three, two, two, right? Answer will be two. Yeah. Okay. Now C, I add it, so that will be C equals one here, right? You see? Okay. Mm -hmm. C equals one, and then. Is it bigger than what two? No, it's equals two, so it doesn't get into here as well. And then answer equals this, so answer will be three, right? Because because C minus R A, they will be three characters. Okay, so then next one is interesting. Okay, look, I add the E, I add the E. E will be equals one here, right? Yeah. Look, but look, A is smaller than R, but the lens key. So how many keys in the wing? How many characters in the wing? Four. Why is four? There are only three. What A C E? The keys. The key. Oh. So look. So I need to L. What's L part? L is A, right? Yeah? Yeah? Mm. Keep one. That's one. Right? That'll become one. Reduce one, one. If it's then zero, no, it's zero. It's still one. Okay. L plus equals one. L plus is one. So L is here. Right? And what's the key? It's still bigger than two, it's three, right? So I still need to remove it. So I I make this to do what? Reduce this to zero, Eric. Look. Mm. I know what happened. If this is zero, what happened? Did it? What does it mean to me? Did it this? So did it this? I just remove this. Yeah? And L will become here. Okay? So now it's satisfied because it equals two, it's not, not bigger than two. Okay, so now I get go uh, break the loop. Answer equals answer R minus L is two characters. We ha already have three. Do you, do you get? Do you understand this problem? Yeah, you will keep going, right? Eh? Yeah. If we have the, if the, we keeping adding the characters at the at the right hand side, expanding to the right the window, right? And if it breaks the condition like more than two, then we delete the characters at the left, right? And if it reduce to what zero, we, we take it out of the uh, map, right? The window map. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you see how how beauty this is? Yeah. Do you get it? Mm. And the proof of this just trying every possibilities of the uh, substrings and then checking, right? Any questions so far? No. You sure? Can you explain to me? I can't read. Sorry. I can't read. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, so can you tell me what's this part doing? What's this part doing? What's this part doing? What's this part doing? I'm trying to do. What's the... this one when you delete it when it's zero? Yeah. Yeah. No, this bit. What What's this bit to trying to do? The whole rectangle. Yeah. What's this bit trying to do? Oh, um, checking that key, so the, yeah. Yeah, the key, the number of keys is number of uh, distinct characters yeah. in the window, right? In the substring. If it's more than two, then we need to remove it from the left hand side. To take it out of the window, right? Got it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's keep moving the left hand side to, to make the window smaller, to make the substring smaller. Because now, what, I, what we have got, look, A, B, B, uh, A, B, C, look. We want the two, at most two, uh, we want the two substring uh, ca uh, distinct characters. Now we have three. So what, what, what happened? If we keep moving this, what happened? You, you, if we keep moving at this point to the right, what happened? The mm. distinct characters we are not reduce, right? We are not decrease, right? Yeah, because we already have three characters. If you keep adding, yeah, you will keep adding. So how can we fix this? We move the left hand side, right? Mm. You're looking at me or not? We keep moving the hand side. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's why we're moving, yeah? Okay? And the answer updating here, okay? That's it for today. Good job. Bye-bye.